Hey and welcome to a replay of a well-known game on, on this channel already, The Black Crypt. I should really make this in, in, into a standard thing, like annual playthrough or, or something. I did really crave to, uh, to play Black Crypt once, once more, and this time, with a little bit twist to it, there will be a slight challenge added uh, to the run, basically a fl flipperino, if I can call it like that. Um, well, my front row will not be my front row, we, I will try to get the druid and the magic user as, uh, as the front row, while the back row will be our fighter and cleric. Um, at some point I might change the cleric with the druid, so the cleric will go back to the front row, but for the majority of the game I do intend to have the back row as the, as the front row. More of a challenge run, but this basically means that the back row, <sighs> they need to have strength to, to fight, and the uh, agility to, to swing, uh, etc. So, well, both of them. So we will be kind of underpowered when it comes to, to spellcasting abilities. I will leave those stats as, uh, at minimum. And for for the other ones, I'm not really sure. Oh yes, I do want definitely to go uh, with strength and dex for both back and front rows. For, for some reasons. We will see that later on. But for now, let's... Pull up those stats. Strength, Dex, and, and Constitution are the main ones that I want to put in, in the party. Uh, actually, the Magic user, well, his con Constitution sucks and will suck. And for this run, I do intend to rename the party members. Maybe uh, just once I will remember their names. Um, this might be Lady Sin. Sure. For, for you, well, you are an obvious choice. For for yeah, the green one, as in Gabo. Well, actually, this for me this looks like a female model, so never mind. Well, Huka was green, and for the druid, this can be Insol. Insol, Insol, you look annoying enough to be Insol, and yeah, this is what I fully intend to go with a power. Party, I guess. Enter the crypt. Save us. Eh? I probably have some save slots over there. I do not know how well would, will it go, how to split the episodes as I go. This is definitely not a speed run, but there will be things that you might um, see dif in a different way because it's not often that you use the spellcasters as the main party, I guess. Uh, let me see if I have my control set up properly. I do not, so I might actually... Silly thing. I might actually need to pause the video and uh, reload just to avoid the unnecessary uh, delays here. So, uh, yeah, one second. And I am back. That was pretty quick. Took me like half a minute or something. Yeah, uh, I just loaded up the, the previous save and that's where I left myself back. So, daggers. Daggers will, will go to you. The cursor seems to be a bit quick. Can I slow it down? Uh, I've got... No, that's too quick. That's the slowest it can get. Good. So, not right click, left click, replace, replace. Oh, I forgot to switch Ragnar's picture. Oh well, that actually suits him pretty well. Uh, the first issue is that the wizard can only use staves. He cannot, uh, Wahuka cannot use um, maces, cannot use swords, nothing like that. And of course I can use spells. In this case, I will definitely use those. I honestly, I don't think I ever played Black Crypt with lowest uh, poten possible, lowest potential possible um, stat rolls for for spellcasters. So I don't know what's the what will be the dif difference here. I definitely do not need those spells just yet. Oh, of course, ladies and cannot throw daggers. Ah, I see the difference already. I will need to dance around you, silly fool. Uh, Elaine, Gohuka. Quiver, that's, that is a very important item to us. 
daggers can go because we will not be using daggers since uh, Esther cannot use them. This is our main weapon of, of choice for, for a longer time. Because something I learned along the way. The bow damage scales with strength. This means that archers are actually really overpowered. So having uh, archer in the back row with maximized strength, that's a very good thing. This also means that Esther will be, uh, well, Lady Sin will be our uh, spellcaster for for this playthrough. We'll scroll caster rather. Yeah, silly. No changes. I thought that there should be. Ah, there you are. I did try out the um, this uh, this attempt, so I have a brief idea of what I want to do and where I want to go. Uh, probably the scroll of life will be something I will often use. Food, not so much. Uh, here. What the? Oh, he, he moved away? Why? No one knows. Anywho, we need to give some gauntlets to Wahooka. Because otherwise he, he may suffer. Two arrows are enough to destroy this guy. And where did this one come from? I have no clue. And there's a third one. Playing this way. Yeah, this the same happened before. And I had no idea what, what was going on. It's annoying to pick up those arrows. And last time, I, when I tried it out, I fought them in, in this corridor here. So that was even weirder. Also, you do not need your helmet. It goes to our druid. And since we already have the removed glyph, I will unlock this. I'm playing this through the FSUAE. It feels a bit weirder than I usually do. Because when I played it for the, for the speedrun, I did not have any delays. So this is a bit... Um, it, it throws me a bit. Where did you come from? Very cool. And also, I cannot go this way, because there's a, well, trap, a uh, floor, floor pit that would just probably kill some of my party members due to the limited hit points that I have. Sure, you can have that. Now, for this. I need that. I need this. The ogre always starts at that position. Those can go to the druid. There's the, uh, the spellcasting eyeball. This one is one of the most annoying due to its spellcasting abilities. Mm. Getting used to using the bow and arrow is something that I, well, as I said, need, need to get used to. Very cool. This is only a small addition to, to the journey ahead, but I'm not gonna go into any of those two because this one grant, uh, grants... I don't even remember what this one grants. Maybe a belt? Maybe I should go there, but I am actually limited on hit points. And it may hurt the party if I go here. Ah, let's do this. Because this, I need to approve this, yeah, this way. Because the party is held and I don't want the front row to get hurt too badly due to, to their hit points. I need to see what's in here because my memory is not so good. Come on. At least Wahooka can swing that stick quickly enough. And this will give us the opportunity to try out the later bows in, in games. Something that I never really did. Scroll of life. Perfect. And a belt of plus one AC. So that's all the trouble, uh, all the rewards we get for the trouble. Basically not worth it. The other one grants us, I think, a Warhammer. 
yeah, uh, additional Warhammer. And since we already have one and Kennedy is the other one, there's no point. And I don't think there's any enemy. Plus, it throws out in, in, the, in a teleportation maze. So, all in all, that is a very poor reward for, for the time spent. Yay, feel stronger. This is good because the bow will now hit a lot strong. Well, maybe not a lot stronger, but stronger. Two arrows. One, two, one. Nice, ten from a stick. Let's do that again. That's very cool. I do want to uh, shoot only up to three arrows because otherwise I would need to give the arrow back in into hand, so that's kind of annoying. Main reason why I do this is for for the fourth level for for the party. I think this was the last one. Oh no, there's still more. This experience is really required at, at the beginning. At least for this challenge, I think. Yep, and that's it. Oh, come on. Oh. One, two, three, four. Um, Ring of Protection, you can have that. A square key. I can actually throw away all of the daggers already. As I said, that's something I will not be using. You cannot use an axe. You can use an axe, so just in case I will keep spare ones. Uh, sure. Um, daggers do not scale with uh, with strength bonuses, so they are pretty useless. Uh huh. Go here. Open this. And this will be the only time when I will use. Uh, Ragnar as, as the front row because I need to use the bow against um, the boss. Remove of Trap Scroll, that's for later. Additionally, I got second level spells plus some other spells, which is good. Um, shield... Ah, wasn't needed. Very cool. I like my compass to have it all the time up. So, you two will need to switch places. Also, just in case, I can get the quiver. I, I can give the quiver to, to the druid because his strength is now pumped up. And he should be able to deal with... There you are. He should be able to deal with some serious damage. That's why I mentioned that prop. There is a chance that late, at a later time I will have the druid and the fighter at the back row due to their ability to score some nice hits with the bow. This will take just a moment, maybe. There. Now, uh, sure, I'll keep you at hand. Yeah, 13, that's a good hit. Come on, one more. Yep, that's a very good hit. But not something I will use as a druid for the time being. Replace, replace, uh, no thank you. I do not need this bow anymore. Replace, where's the axe? Where did I place the axe? Did I drop it? Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, silly me. Mm, teleportation scroll, very handy. I wonder if she can use um, if she can use wands. Let's find out. Oops, wrong button. She can good. Ow, 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 ow. Good. So braces of protection. Uh, you can have those. Uh, sure, you can have that. Prayers of Orlin. Ring mail goes to you. Crown of Detection is something I do not want to spend just yet. The second secret, the first secret chest. 
those are plate leggings, so you you have to wear those. Gauntlets of the Titans, I was considering giving those to either Wahuka or uh, Insul, but they grant plus one strength bonus. And Ragnar being our main damage, uh, damage dealer for the time being. Oh, I forgot to give him the quiver back. Oops. Uh, him being our main dam damage dealer for, for the time being, I would ra rather have him use it. Quick scroll. Soon I will just get rid of all of the foods once I have the spell for it. Um, the first copyright protection. Oh, oh, I can just ditch the food now. Good. We. I still need to keep water for for the time being only. No, 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 no. Screw you. Screw you. Water can go. Mace might come in handy for, for a reason or two. Um, so let's see. All quest items are with Ragnar. Of course, I will forget that. All scrolls, um, scrolls, spell scrolls will need to be with Lady Sin. I should have called her Esther. And they can as well be in this bag of holding, bag of calcium even. Screw the bag. Oh, there's still place for, for potions. Yeah, those will come in later. Very good. So I will definitely not uh, try to, well, I will try to answer this one. God's Fury, I think that's 110. <clears throat> so that has to be 100. The quake has 110. See, I do remember my stuff. Down we go. I will probably cut the videos at 30 minutes or so. Or it depends. I don't know. Maybe every every two levels, every like loading screen like this. This might be already after the first cut. I have no idea. And Wahuka will be our leader of the party because he can see those monsters. This comes later. Now, the biggest problem that comes are the thieves on the next level. There's a reason why I will do this. Because the thieves are easiest dealt with the bow. And I did not want to get my arrow uh, my bow stolen from me because we have only a single bow for the time being. So there's one more thief here. I think this one's a bit stronger. Maybe not. Okay, that's two thieves, I think. Now I will fight with one of the ceiling monsters. I don't remember. Guys. Take the bow from hand. Where's the thief? Now those guys will be insanely easy. I think this is the easiest way you can deal with them. There's one more ceiling monster. A monster. But there's also one more thief. No, you don't. Because they cannot move and attack as quickly as they would want to. Taking the bow from hand. Yeah, exactly this is the reason. There. There should be just one more thief around uh, on this level. And that is an easy one to deal with. I'm curious about this room. How... Because those ceiling monsters are stronger than the other ones. Oh, wow. Their AC is higher than I expected. But a qu quiver full of arrows was enough to deal with them. Yeah, I think this is the quickest way to put the arrows back in, in where they go. Also, can I just grab you? Well, I see 15 on the bow. I did! So 15 is currently my maximum with, with standard bow and arrows, and you can see how quickly it attacks. Despite having the front row as as the 
uh, spellcasters. I'm still using the main melee fighter. Purely because you see how un you know how annoying those guys are. Thank you, poison. Wow, both of them. That's bad. It would take forever to kill this guy with. How? Yeah, but they can't hit. That was lucky. Nice. Wow. That's why I would love to have a better bow or a an extra quiver of, of arrows. Plus, I need to use those now. Actually, not yet. I should survive one uh, one hit. Uh, cure poison, very good. One. And two. Excellent. That was empty, so the key is here. Teleport scroll number two. I do not need that. Uh, key items go to you. Yeah, just eat up, so you are not tired. I will be resting eventually in, in, in the game, but the emulation has the turbo option, so instead of resting between recordings, I can just rest uh, during the recording, which should take, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds if, if there is no, no action. It should be quicker than 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 it should. Uh, dispel magic. Insult dispel caster. What what the world has come down to? Uh, I don't know. I think I I need to press them twice. Very good. Now the horn of plenty acts as what was it? Horn of sustenance. It allows the party to regain here poison sure uh, to regain all of the water and and what was the word here the, the water and hun hunger goes well it's filled up you can have this I don't really need any more of those races of eight agility races of protection what's your AC 21 that's a lot Really? Okay, you can have them. Now, the next one is here. This is the annoying one because I need to enter both of the side rooms here. The crap, this fire wand. You can hold on to it. I don't I don't ever remember how this one is done. I always go twice, twice, twice. That's probably not it one there should be up to two of the ceiling crawlers what the hell are you even doing one two three four yeah that was not it no maybe it's three times potion of extra healing sure never yeah this did not enable the portal now just close the door so open the door, but the portal will be locked, of course. One, two. Press close. Okay. No, it's still locked. Hum. Yes. You can see the front row can manage to to deal some damage against the enemy, so that's good. Okay, it's open. God damn it. I hate this part. This is the worst part. I never remember how to uh, set it. Maybe this. Finally. Now it should be open. Yep. Second part. I will need... Oh, wow. Hey there. I forgot that... Where did you come from? Maybe he was locked in, in, in this area. Uh, you can have the stick back. Like in here. Interesting. You. Yeah, it's one of those that has insane amounts of hit points. The only problem... 
which I see in the near future would be the, the invisible monsters. Just picking all of the loot, all of the arrows again. Wow. Arrows. There we go. Now, oops, wrong side. One, two. Button on the right enables the button on the left. The button on the left enable uh, disables the anti-magic zone on, on the square. Spell magic and buffs. Orc key number two, belt of strength, sure. Bag of holding, plenty of food, which we can ditch straight away. We have the second key. There's somebody at the door, that's fine. Somebody else will take care of it. A Sight Giver. Sight Giver is only a weapon that can be used by a cleric, but it casts a uh, light spell, so I will keep a hold of it. There will be later a place where I will need a couple uh, light spells. Now, this part might be tricky. So, gonna. S uh, should I save? Let's save just in case. Come on, game. Takes forever. Game. There we go, had to switch to, to the turbo. Also, one second. Yeah, one second. Sorry, small interruption. Yeah, so we are heading in. <sighs> Strength to our best spellcaster, the spell magic again, because we will need that. There's a thief in here, but I don't think he actually is a threat to, to the party. Uh, shield the front row for extra EC. Chant of Orleans. Those might be actually handy. So I need to cast this spell. Get rid of you as quickly as possible. Get rid of you. This thief is different than the others because he is not able to steal. He is not able to teleport away. So, hey, that was pretty painless. Our front row is dealing with all of this BS quite nicely. Uh, and as the reward we get. More potions and cure poison scroll. Gladly. Uh, here? No. Here. Why? Not here. Where am I holding all of... Oh, in the bag of holding. Duh. Item? Oh, because it's a bag. Whatever. Uh huh. Some potions. Yes, yes. Unlock the next portal and ta tablet of Tver Tvergar. You feel more intelligent. Only f Insel cannot use this. Wahuka cannot use this. So it's a useless weapon to us. Even though it's a plus one, I will not use it. Because when? By whom? And a bow plus one. At this point, I could potentially move uh, Insel back to, to the back row. So he could, uh, with Ragnar, um, deal insane amounts of, of damage in very, very short time. But no, thank you. We are doing it the proper way for the time being. Trying to use front row as front row as long as possible. Also, I did not mention one thing. Um, this is the bow plus one. I need to see the, the actual damage output on it because, yeah, we are at 24 strength. I did not see. I'll check on this guy. 16, so definitely plus one. Can I score a 17? 16. No, a 14 only. It's fine. Oh, wow. 
Bad time, bad time. Plenty of arrows. Um, this is our with our current status. I think the party is actually hungry or thirsty. Thirsty. The first use of horn of plenty. Uh, I will not be in in the game for long enough to waste all of the charges, so we can just use it right now. And this can go. What I am missing for the ultimate overpowerness is haste. It will grant us, well, rapid fire, I guess we can call it that. So this enables, this opens the other path. The only problem I have with this is always the same one. Ah, there we go, made it. Done. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, the trick here is you need to go all the way around it. Um, leave something in here, it will unlock the next one, etc, etc. But you can just stand here and drop a heavier item. It works with a shield, it doesn't work with an axe. I don't really know what it works with. Uh, what about ring mail? Yep, because that is medium weight. Interesting. An axe, okay, an axe is a lightweight. It has to be at least medium weight. One of the very few places in the game where you can cheese it and skip just a fraction of the game. And now we got the last one. Potion of Invincibility, of course, that will stay until the uh, later bosses. I cannot promise that those will be used against uh, the final boss because I might need them earlier on and I exactly know where there's a certain enemy that you cannot cheese in any way apart from escaping from, from the battle but that is not uh, well it doesn't allow you to hit him in any means so it will not help you if you escape right now this bit I always forget how to go here. Hmm. It's either front or to the right. So for this, I will wear the crown of detection. There we go. So we go that, 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 that. And there. Now mask of true sight. Level 3 spell casting. Teleport out. And now we can fight those guys. Plus, we got haste and other buffs. The crown can be now removed. Let's see. This may hurt, so I will just fight one at a time. Nice. The damage is very little. <laughs> okay, um, the bow is overpowered. And you can have two uh, shooting like that. So if you're, uh, if I'll be at in a tight spot, which I will eventually get to, those guys can instantly kill you. They have very little hit chance, but if they do start hitting, they can just hit you three times in a second, and that's basically a killer for for the party. Well, for a, par uh, for a party member, no thank you. Ring armor, AC 26, 25. Sure, you're naked, you can have that. There's another door right here. And I don't know if those enemies have stronger variations. The moment I get hit, it's the moment I retreat. You do not escape me. Nice. Like, levels are very, very important. Scroll of, oh, of healing. I do not need scroll of healing. I need this. I need this. Both scrolls of dispelling are required to complete this level. This query right here is the spawner for for, the, for those guys. So it's, they quite often appear here. Come 
come on, hit the damn thing. Too bad that there is no spell of uh, of accuracy like a uh, bless or a heroism or whatever. Shoot. Wow. Yeah. An accuracy bonus would be insane here. And they do struggle to escape when they're uh, when they have a wall behind them. So that's good. I cannot hear them. They cannot hear me. There was an item somewhere around this level. I can't remember the word exactly. Like an amulet of comprehension or something like that. Not here. Somewhere on this side. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I'm a lot of protection, sorry. Yeah, I cannot fight two of them, come on. Ah, never mind, this amulet needs to wait. I think my haste wore off. Yep, it did. It sure did. This one's dead. Here, have it. Come on, come on. I don't... Wow. Actually... Look. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's what I mean. They can one-shot the back row, well, the initial back row, the spellcasters with ease. Wow. Well, Hookah got his face chewed off. Uh, no, I had that awesome scroll of awesomeness. I think. Cure wounds, level 7. Nice. 45 damage. Uh, I do not need the scroll of cure poison for the time being. Huh? Interesting. Is it not here? Ah, it's not here. Good. But I can go down here because there's a wand of cure wounds. A lot of cure wounds can help out, especially with this party. I was never too much of a wand user. I tended to, to keep all of them. Come on, guys, hit. Freeze. No. Thank you. Yeah, it all comes down to Ragnar and his bow. His accuracy with, with the damn thing is is great. Uh, wound healer. Now, the progress, we need to go this way. Here to be exact. There are two force, force fields that we need both we needed both of the scrolls to open. And I usually tend to just teleport out of here. The glyph scroll. Oh, actually, we can go and use that. Wizard's Ward. And a uh, red key that allows us access to the fifth level. That should be pretty easy. Uh, ethereal shield, sure. This will work. Now I can evade the monsters. There we go. I do not need to fight them. Let's go back to the fourth level and grab whatever we can in here. Because I did miss a bit. That's actually a hidden thing. More of a secret, a missable secret. Where is it? It's locked. How do you unlock it? There was a button on this floor. I think it was even in somewhere around here. Wow. Or was it this? Maybe it was this. Yeah, it was this. The Glyph of Death. This is basically insta-kill for, for the party. I don't remember where I placed the scroll. Um, the Glyph scroll. Uh, it has a very, very low chance of not killing a party member, but dealing insane amounts of damage. And... I think I tried over 20 times back in the Amiga days to get through through this, uh, keeping one party member alive and then, then just scroll 
scroll of life to resurrect the party member to uh, get past it. No, this level three glyph scroll. Screw you. Trolling myself. I don't think it's in this bag. You had it. There it is. Oh. Sound effect of the glyph. Uh, one of the spelling might come in handy. Oh, there, uh, ah, there you are. Shoes, if I recall correctly. Yes, leather boots. And a piece of meat, sure. And that's not it. Amulet of Comprehension. This amulet grants uh, ability to read runes on, on walls uh, without casting the uh, read rune sp uh, spell. Ah, this can go now. And I think this pretty much concludes this area. I like my secrets. Yes. So we can go before I... Well, I can actually... Uh, no, I cannot climb down because there is an enemy waiting for us. Uh, which way was it? This way? Where am I? I'm lost. There. There's an enemy. A um, really, really annoying enemy waiting for us. Soon-ish. But this is a perfect time for a break anyway. So, first of all, I will turbo mode here. The warp mode. I have my... I think the the, the emulation is in, in Polish. That's why it also says the turbo is in... Uh, well, it says it's in Polish. <laughs> Let's see how... Uh, yeah, the party is already fully rested. That is insane. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Because the, the last one is the... Yep. Uh, the party is fully rested, so that that perfectly... Uh, that that worked perfectly fine. I'm gonna climb down here and leave it at that. But I will, surely. Uh, yeah, this is the, the level for... what are those? Uh, forsake your spells upon the quest, fight without will be your test. Yeah, there is a place where I will need to fight with, without the spells, but this is the annoying guy. He is a spellcaster. At least you can dance around him on a 2x2 two two grid. Because he needs to turn before he can chew you. Chew on you. Good. Now... Uh, remove glyph. Thank you. I will need haste for this. Let's start with... Uh, this is the more annoying one. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Oh, there we go. You need to make a... I think it's either time-based or you need to make a certain amount uh, of circles around it. I do remember some answers and... Um, for for some of the riddles in, in this game and I do fully intend to use this knowledge. This guy is nothing to be to be joking about. If if you can just cheese it. No uh, fighting face on. I think this is what will get me killed. <coughs> Not yet. This unlocks the other bit, which is this bit. Ah. I don't think it would get all of them. Yeah, haste should be a good mo It should be the perfect opportunity to cast haste. Let's get all of those back. Spellcasters will be the most annoying enemies because they deal uh, AoE damage to the front row. Uh, which is painful. Party held. Oh no, I did not turn around. It's fine, it's fine. Party levels is also something that... N that is nothing to be joked about. Rest. Give it a second or two. I will eventually, if, if the rest will take too long. Uh, I figured if I would be playing Dungeon Master 2 or Dungeon Master 1 where the resting takes a while, 
uh, I would definitely um, I, I need those here actually can I let's do it like this uh, I would definitely use the turbo mode to my advantage you go you take that and you take this exactly because they drop all of your items and when you know it's coming it's a lot easier to prepare uh-huh uh -huh. well Winslow is already at 29 interesting now this one is unlocked this unlocked the door in the other room in this room if I could just walk not in a wall thank you game uh, manual of the planes a new quiver with well with regular arrows so we are getting closer and closer to having um, two bow users if I will have two full quivers that's definitely a moment to switch over the first gold key out of three I believe uh, no I don't remember if there's anything down here so let's uh, let us quickly check this is where we would end up after falling from the above level this unlocks this guy and just stab you through okay are you guarding anything scroll of detection that's it meh well I guess for the experience we can do this and there now where's my gold key there you are um key number one was delivered is delivered i did not want to open it never mind glyph scroll that's a low level scroll but i will keep it this unlocks the next path not you this is something that but uh, boggled my mind as a kid i had no idea what this means and i was a very bad at speaking english and i did not know that it was just you know switch spelled backwards now a couple of enemies here again i don't know if it's hurting now all of them but i will gladly try uh, find out probably not probably it hurts only the first one Oh well, do I have any spells? Yes, create food. That's exactly what I wanted to, to cast for this fight. Guys, there's two, at least two more. Thank you. Now, fill up the quiver. Still need armor for uh, for Ragnar. Uh, no, thank you. I I think this might be already out of charges. We will find out the, the hard way. It will not go here. It will not go here. Sure, I'm very bad at, at keeping items at their proper locations. I think the main difference that the lack of proper stats for for the spellcasters is, is how fast they can regenerate magic. Aha, slime. I have no idea how you shoot a slime with, with bow and arrow and to make it deal actual damage to it, but I will not question this logic. It's an OP method. So we take the mace, we replace it with a hammer. Because this is another switcheroo puzzle. And here we've got probably nothing, just an enemy. Yep. And even a spellcaster. Of course, it's out of charges. That's why I need to bow this guy down. Uh huh. I don't have any offensive um any offensive ones anymore. I did notice that my buffs wore off. Chant of Orlin. Mind strike. Oh, there's haste. Excellent. Perfect timing. Ethereal shield soon. 
And I have already a swarm spell. Yay. This is the place where I need to drop a maze. Because there was a maze on the other side. And before I descend the final stairs here... Oh. Interesting, I thought that there's the liquid slime thing roaming around. No, no. Air elemental, I believe that is Featherfall, so if possible, who can use it? And Amulet of Protection, yet another one. Uh-huh. This should let us leave through this area. I can just flip the switch and it should get me back. Perfect. I'm not sure if I went down the other stairs, but there's nothing in them. Nothing of importance, uh, of importance at least. Scroll of Cure Poison, gladly. Are you the final one? Yes, you are. How many hours did the Black War rage? 40. That's out of memory. I will go here, because... Because I can, basically. Level 10, remove glyph. No, thank you. This should fall down to a simple glyph removal, not magic. Glyph. There we go. No need for that. I don't remember what's here. Oh, I remember now. I shouldn't come here. It's an annoying place. Because today... Here... It will unlock... It should unlock the portal. There it is. <coughs> Yay, a trap. And tomorrow... Gone. Still nothing. Now this should unlock it again. And in here, we should get a tip. On, on unlocking the, <coughs> the riddle. Because as far as the, uh, the plague... Uh, it was copyright protection, uh, the first one that we had the answer. This one is not. The Black War lasted many hours, one for each champion, so four. Two for each power, so four plus eight. That's already twelve. Rahuka cannot read, uh, Insel has the amulet of comprehension. Three for each weapon they wielded with might, so that's... 12 plus 12, that's 24, and 4 for each hero whose death came that night, and all of them died because it was a war, so 24 plus 16 is 40. Simple as that. Try to tell, uh, try telling that to a kid that doesn't know English. Oh boy, what a challenge this was. I think this was more of a uh, save and load, save and load, save and load um, thing to and enter 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, etc., etc., etc. This place. This place. This place requires me to save the game. First of all, sleep on turbo mode. Uh, actually, yeah, let's sleep on turbo mode. One, two, three, four. Almost fully rested. Yeah, almost fully rested. Um, horn of plenty. Just because I can. I don't think I need haste for this. It is very, very risky. Triple mode during the save because it, it takes forever to, to save. I don't know why. Now, this is the challenge that they were talking about. Need to fight without magic. This guy. This is the anti magic zone. Only for us, not for them. And, yep, you guessed it, he has insane AC. I cannot hit him with bow. And the only problem with bow and arrow is that the arrows are sticking in the enemy. How many arrows do I have left? Two more. So one. Two. Replace the quiver, because I can. I get four more shots. Two more shots. One more shot. Excellent. Easy. 
extremely easy with with this technique of course it's also easy if you uh, went uh, at the end of the corridor where we could see the door there uh, the anti-magic zone let me actually load up the map at the end of the, the anti-magic is i think only around this area if you would go all the way here or be at, at the entrance here you could just cast strength and uh, haste at the real shield and deal with with this guy with uh, uh, if you have the fighter at front row because fighter the only good thing about fighter he can do all build so uh yeah he could easily terminate this guy with uh, the uh, longsword plus one and axe in the offhand shadow sh shadow shield and blast of cold there's one thing that i do not understand about uh about the uh, the blue zone well it's blue zone and there's also uh, which we will see soon a red zone and i'll get to that shortly did i not find did i find a glyph scroll capable of terminating this um because here we get three uh, druidic spells uh, spell books and 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 what's, what's the word i'm looking here for where's the cliff scroll i'm certain i need to go this way and no 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 and according to the manual you should be getting them in certain order which i was not getting them well if you go into, into blue you get the the second and the fourth if you go into the red you get the third which doesn't make sense at all uh what did i miss i had to miss something since i should have the remove glyph scroll unless i'm missing something i should have two gold keys how many do i have god damn it game that was my last idea i probably have it in my hand Level 10 should be enough there. Let's say level 10 scroll. So basically, if the party would be level 10, I should be able to. Yeah, I can do that. I should be able to uh, d dispel it myself. Or the cliff. Ah, God damn you. Die already. Ethereal shield went off. There. It's kind of rough. Now, I think he was the only red in this room. Yep. The final gold key, whatever the other one is, Raven Shield. And ta Tablet of Oak Raven. You feel more agile. Uh, rest in Turbo. There we go. Interesting, because when I was playing on, I think, I think the last time on Win UAE, emulation uh, there was a certain uh, key combination that uh, disabled the the keyboard controls for me i had to restart the emulation and by this point i would probably do it a couple times already come on hit the guy yeah he gonna shoot from there so i'm kind of safe here Mm-hmm. Freeze! Ace. Lightning field. Freeze. Um, no. He is a powerful spellcaster. There we go. Wow with the last arrow well almost last i still had one more whatever one two three four and the last one goes here i don't think there's any traps here we got the key for for, for the troubled for the progression rather and a plate armor which of course our druid cannot wear so Go Ragnar with your awesome whooping 25 AC in the back row. I'm surprised that the front row still manages to uh, have higher AC than the back row. I know, I know, shields and etc. 
And this key is actually very important already because it unlocks the first bit, which is the first razor. I still cannot use it. Well, I cannot use it. Uh, I will keep this sword. This is a, um, I guess it's a short sword. It's an offhand weapon for Ragnar. It kind of sucks as the main hand weapon, but for the offhand, it's awesome. Plus, if used in main hand as a special uh, item, it will cast freeze spell. So yay! Okay, I had to rest. I do not need to go. Oh wow! I do not need to go uh, this way because here are only tips for how to progress further. I did remember that there was a slime here. But since I am very close to level, sure, why not? And this tablet. February, April, July, October. This is the tip that we get. What does it do? Ask a 8-year-old kill kid which doesn't speak English. So, in here we've got 12 alcoves. And we, re we received the moms. But the question is, how do you count? Left, right, left, right, left, and then right, or how? Well, basically, it's clockwise. So that was two, four, five, six, seven, as in July, uh, August, September, October, was it? And now it unlocks. If you trigger the wrong one, it will just splash damage the party. Nasty stuff. There's the big bad one here. He can smell me already. Well, I can smell him too. And yes, all of them cast spells, so... You, you want to dispose of them as quickly as possible. Even if it means picking up 20 arrows or something. Wow, he, his AC is ac actually sucks. Okay, but not his hit point pool. Yay for levels. Did I get all of my arrows? I did. Good. There should be also a flank head and there you are. And a slime. Oh, two flank heads. Bad, bad stuff. At least they are weak. Extremely weak. No. Arrow got lost. Not really. Now, find the slime. This can just suddenly attack us when we are not paying attention. Uh, no, that's water and food. Oh, there goes our buffs again. I assume the buffs are expiring mainly... Oh, refresh, very good. Uh, mainly because I am using turbo for sleeping. Ah, there's the slime. Come on, slime. Hit it. Yes, we are receiving cure diseases because the slimes are the ones that can ca cause disease. Bum, 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 bum. And I don't think I have the key for this one. Did I pick up any of the keys? Oh, no, there is a door that... I can open without the key. Somewhere here-ish? Yes. First of all, I need to go to, to the end. It will get a bit brighter. There we go. Grabbing a holding bag. The area here su suffocates us. I pick... Oh, hello there, sir. 16 damage. That's awesome. Who can wear this? Only you can wear this. You cannot wear that, so screw it. Yes, yes, I'm su suffocating. That's fine. A uh, third shield. I still can cast haste at any moment. Where's my key? I had a key. There it is. Now, I think the key is for this one. No. Can never remember. Oh no, a wall. But it's fake. Like 20 other, other walls in here. Oak Raven, champion of the druid skilled perched in this dungeon in the final hours of the Black War. Uh, yeah, there are pla plagues in here. 
uh, with further tips. I never remember which way to go. To go. Leather boots, number two. Leather armor, plus two. Very cool. Who got whooping 33? We've got Insula 31, but he has also magic protection. Magic protection reduces the damage or sometimes uh, makes the damage received from spells is zero. So it is very important from for the front row. We're looking here for a damned key. There it is. It's for the other door. Scroll of healing will no longer be required. I think after the blue and uh, red floors, there will be the Tamen level. And the Tamen actually has a weapon upgrade for for Wahuka. That's something I want to aim for. Now where's the head? There's the head. That's, that's just the coolest way to deal with those now. I never actually expected that I would enjoy using a bow in, in this game. Who would have thought that a bow can be overpowered? Uh, this is the place where I am switching to Sightgiver. And I might actually cast Haste. Yay, Sight. Also, Wahuka, can you? Yes, you can prepare another haste. Never too many hastes. Uh, Rank of protection plus two. You can use that. You can use that. No. Oh, I think that's another. Um, potion of invincibility. Yes, potion number two. Screw you. I am full of arrows, very good. Uh, what was that again? Oh, it's history of the Arch Druid. This is also important in, in information. Uh, oak ravens remain lie below in a coffin of white oak. And those are important scrolls that you would eventually need to, to find, to, to read, to carry around and remember. Not, not all of the scrolls are uh, contain correct information. Some of them are false falsely left by by the final boss to 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 uh what's what's the word here to fool the party and fall into i don't know trap or mislead them like for example uh on the first level you could find a scroll about the ogre blade that it is cursed do not use it for for the invisible creatures for 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 those worm like creatures that they are pacifists if they will not attack you if they will not feel hostility from you so you better unequip all of your equipment etc and there is a way of course of proving if of seeing if that is actually true or not we have two spells for that one of one of them is reveal truth while the other is called dispel illusion both of them are doing basically the same thing. Yay, meat. Uh, one more key, sure. Another holding bag. Ah, uh, daggers, no thank you. Here, have an apple. I might actually, if I stumble up across another of those uh, scrolls with false information, I might show it. I don't usually do that. I think I did it in, in my original vanilla playthrough, which... If you if you would want to watch it, please please just don't. That's that's just has terrible audio in it. It was I think my first last play recorded. Who was the druid's champion? That is Oak Raven. This we can uh, we could uh, figure out by the Oak Raven tablet. Of which Hollywood is Oak Raven's tomb made? That's White Oak. Correct. Again, I never know which way to go, I think. Yeah, this is the correct way. And here we find the sun key. Magebane, a helmet made for the warriors only, unfortunately. This grants magic resistance as well. Ooh, we cannot wear plate boots. That's sad. And the wisdom of the true is the third spell, because it has pestilence and a chant of doom, which are weaker than ice strike and blast of cold. Uh, I do not have a Therial. There's also a secret room right here for an awesome Displacer Shield plus 
five. Wow, 38 AC go in soul. And this concludes this area, which basically le le leaves us to, to this, because we got the sun key, which opens this path. Here we get the Helm of the Triton uh, progression item, which we will most likely require. Scroll of Detection will come in handy on the next level. Black Horn, this is a, a same effect as uh, one of Fireballs. And this is the way down, I think. I will rest. I should have removed this because yeah, I will remove this and make a longer rest for the, for the turbo. So so the whole party will be sustenanced again. Well, I will definitely use the Horn of Sustenance. But I might actually... Yeah, the whole party is fully rested. And we got the... Oh, I'm still on turbo. Uh, the, the figuring of deflection. This is a shield. A magical shield that grants... Well... Magic shield, the, the protection from, from spells, which is awesome. I will probably not use it at the time being. There aren't many monsters that will require me to do so. But the potion of invincibility will come in handy probably on the next level. Probably. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Yes. I want to use you. Because that's what we have you for. And yeah, I will definitely need to call it here for for this video. I will record probably soon the the next the next um the next part. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this so far.